Creativity is dead. And no, I'm not talking about how AI art is stealing thousands of artists jobs. That's not my problem right now. Well, it probably will be when AI YouTubers start popping off. I've seen those most critical AI remakes. They're scarily similar. But I'm not talking about impending doom. I'm talking about remakes and reboots. We need to let some things die. The, the story needs to end. We need to continue on with our lives. I can't watch another ninth Transformer film. Like I was done at Fast and Furious 3. I didn't need seven more. But honestly, there's a real problem that I've seen in recent entertainment where big corporations, instead of trying to make something new and fresh, fall back on these old shows and movies that were once classics and pump out remakes and reboots that are basically cash grabs and just hollow shells of what they once were. And I've seen enough of it. Like there's too many. And it feels like for some reason, it's happening so much in the last couple of years. What stirred up these thoughts for me was a recent trailer that I saw of a remake of that 70s show called That 90s Show. I know, right? I don't know how those geniuses came up with that creative title. Just seeing this beloved show that I grew up watching having his heart ripped out of his chest by a big corporation and eating like their Kotal Khan from Mortal Kombat or something, just for a new remake to exploit the audience of a beloved show, it's sad. It's sad. I'm sad. Your grandma just hooked us up. What is it? Leia, do you want to hear about the Donkey Kong conspiracy? <laughs> Please, I can't take no more. <laughs> I can't take no more. And it's not just that 70s show. Apparently, there's a Fairly Odd Parents remake that I didn't even know existed. But they made one because what's the dignity of a beloved childhood show loved by many when you can have money? Like, I saw the trailer for this thing and I knew I was never gonna watch it. Like, look at this man. This is a Diary of One Begin situation. That is not my Timmy. But there's all these shows, all these movies that I feel I'm seeing the same thing over and over again. Like, I just need something fresh, something new. You know why my favorite movie this year was Bullet Train? Because it was a whole new experience, a whole new feeling, just something new. It wasn't a reboot of anything else. It was fun. It was its own thing. It was great. And forget what the critics say. They don't know Wait what they're talking minute, about. Minute. It was a good movie. But nowadays, it just feels like corporations are too scared to take the risk on something new. And I understand that, especially when a lot of the audience just loves watching the same stuff. Like today on TikTok, I saw someone excited about a new Avatar show, apparently coming out and i'm just like dude we've had two already please let it end like i'm not trying to be 65 years old arguing with my grandkids why the avatar in the seventh show isn't as good as aang the show needs to end the story needs to have a conclusion please like honestly that's why i'm like super into anime right now most animes out there have a story that's really interesting really good and they end it it doesn't continue on forever there isn't another reboot another remake that comes out sometimes yes but most of the time, the story just ends. The author had an idea, concluded his story, and we all moved on. We were able to enjoy a journey that wasn't endless. Nowadays, it just feels like shows go on forever and ever. And there's definitely some animes like that too. I'm talking about you, Dragon Ball Super. But I understand, as an audience member, you wanna continue and see what's happening. You wanna go back to that same old, same old stuff that you grew up watching. Back to a time that was better where life didn't change. But sadly, life changes all the time. We have to move on to new things, to experience new stuff we can't be stuck in the past i don't need iCarly's kid or freaking the avatar's fourth grandchild i don't need another show on that i especially didn't need fuller house that was never in the cards for me we have to move past watching these remakes and reboots and start watching some shows and movies that come with new ideas new spectacles new journeys it's like a tiktok trend if everyone's doing the same thing the same dance it's gonna get stale pretty quick even youtubers go through it if you're doing the same fortnite gameplay for the 500th video in a row either you're not gonna enjoy it or your audience isn't gonna enjoy it but that's gonna be a phrase video y'all sorry didn't mean to get so emotionally attached here but it was a topic that i've been meaning to cover for a minute and i just want to share some thoughts with y'all but that's gonna be it for today's video and i'll see y'all in the next one peace